I'm sitting in a TL4380 with something that's going to blow your mind. What do we have here? Yes, this is a, this is a transparent OLED screen and we call it a, a, a T-OLED. When we want to show things on here, we can show things, but we also can not show anything and now it's just a window. What size is the screen? This is a 32 inch screen that is actually just in, in part of your right window. Mm. So that right hand window. So now when your boom is up and you can't see to the right, oh, I can have different camera views that can just show you kind of like you're seeing through the boom. And we can put cameras wherever, wherever we're just showing uh, cameras off to the right right now we could have a camera up on your attachment mm -hmm. and it, it's showing over there. I can put my backup camera in there. I can do a 360 view if I need to. So mm -hmm. that's what we really try to drive and ask that question to customers. What do you want to see and when do you want to see it? Well, look, I'd love to go see and play around with the interactive ones. So oh, let's go inside and absolutely. check it out. Yeah, let's go. Super. You said this is fully interactive, it's touch screen, and we can do an awful lot with it. Can you show us and go through some of the features that we can? 100%, yes. Uh, so as you said, this is still a transparent OLED. Uh, it's, it's that same technology that we had in that telehandler. And I can I can show you that this is this is a transparent. That's not a magic trick, no, this I can do my hand trick. as well. That's my it hand is, as well, just to prove uh, it. Absolutely, yeah. when yeah. you have this clear in the clear state, it's just a window. Mm -hmm. And what it is, but it's a very smart window. So I can have it clear, but then I can come into uh, showing you everything that I can uh, potentially show on here. Wow, so there's, there's a lot of all sorts of things that you could show. Yeah, there's a lot of information obviously on this. I yes. see from the camera to job clocks to work groups to geofencing, there's a, a joystick control, an incredible amount of features. There, there is, and, and that's what we really want is that we, we still go right back to that, that what does that operator want to see and when. This is the potential for everything, but you can customize it to show just the camera or just your dig depth if you're using iDig. Absolutely, so maybe we want to put a, you know, a good looking model on the screen, so we'll pull this up here, and oh, well, look at that. We will have to get somebody else, I think. Someone else from standing <laughs> around the corner will have to come in for that, for that title. Yes, uh, so I can move this around, I can take this, I can uh, place it wherever I'd like. I want to see a larger representation of what my camera is. Well, I can resize that. Maybe I'm on a job site and I want to show someone uh, maybe dig here or don't dig here or there's a utility line here, watch out. I can click on that job site map oh, and wow. have something where when I'm trenching, I can say, I want you to trench here, but look out at 48 inches deep in this spot, you have electrical lines. So don't trench there, um, but don't trench out of this, out of where I want you to trench. The one thing that I've learned down through the years is that every operator is different. But this obviously will add a whole layer of additional, um, I suppose, customization yes. for operators and their machines. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. The customization, you could even go into presets, say that you know you want to run that machine and you want to have it set up the way you want it. Uh, you could have a preset in here and say- For driver boom, one, driver two. Driver depending one, on, driver two. I know you're only testing it here, okay? And I'm probably going a bit further down the tracks on this, but in terms then of this type of technology, how far away are we in terms, in your opinion, in terms of time and something like that? Yeah, so we're in the point of that we're showing this to customers and getting feedback. If we get a really good feedback and people say, wow, you got to come with this. Let's do it. We're going to accelerate this yeah. project. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I always say that you guys have the best toys, right? <laughs> if anyone, anyone from innovation team always brings the best stuff. And as I said, the title of this, the theme of this year for Balma was groundbreaking innovations. Certainly groundbreaking, certainly an incredible innovation. And look, thanks for taking us through it. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you super. very much. Cheers. As you can see, we move the uh, wheels to the back. Yeah. Why is that? This enables the operator to grade in forward and reverse. Okay. So it also gives a bit more agility to the machine.